Williamson's Fire and Police Departments will face off this weekend here at the Williamson Fieldhouse for the Emergency Services Basketball Battle in hopes of accumulating funds for their Shop with a Deputy event. Mountaintop News was there to learn more. To accumulate funds for their Shop with a Deputy event, both Williamson Fire and Police Departments have joined with Williamson Parks and Recreation to compete in the Emergency Services Basketball Battle. Thursday, we spoke with Police Chief Grady Dotson and Fire Lieutenant Garrett Gregory II about the game and its importance to the community. Oh, it's absolutely a huge help for the community. You know, they, the shop with the deputy has been historically a good thing. They stand in the road in different areas in Wimson and throughout Mingo County, and, and they collect money for these kids and stuff, and, and it all goes to kids that may not get Christmas or, or may um, not get a present, and if we can be able to do that for any child, one child, it would actually be, you know, make their Christmas wonderful. We want to also give back and uh, also give the community a uh, little glimpse of what the Williamson Fire Department does and what the Police Department does. Uh, I'm sure that you hear ups and downs with the departments, but uh, all in all, we're all here for the same reason, to help people, and what better way to give back and give toys to kids. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. And while both Chief Dotson and Lieutenant Gregory say they're excited to help those in need, both say they are looking forward to some great competition. Um, it should be competitive. Um, they actually have some people helping out with the state police department and the sheriff's department playing on the police department side. So it should be a little bit more competitive. We have a little bit more members on the fire department and not saying that we're more in shape or not in shape, but that's gonna be the tell if everybody's gonna be able to run up and down a basketball court. Um, I'm from Williamson and played basketball here. So I actually get to go play another basketball game in the field house, which is pretty cool. Um, but I'm very competitive. So I'm look like I said, I'm looking to win. I'm sure they're looking to win. You know, I'm looking forward to hopefully not dying. <laughs> you know, we've worked together for a long time. Uh, you know, there's always, you know, uh, police versus fire and, and stuff like that. I think it's just kind of, you know, genetically there uh, from years back. But I think it'll be good. I think it'll be fun. Um, I know the fire department's ready. I know the police department's ready. And I think it'll be a good time for everyone. The Emergency Services Basketball Battle will take place this Saturday, December 11th at 7 p.m. at the Williamson Fieldhouse. Toys and cash donations will be accepted. Reporting from Williamson, West Virginia, for Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.